Malaysia and North Korea are refusing to let each other's diplomats and nationals leave their borders. You could say they're effectively holding them hostage. Kuala Lumpur called on Pyongyang to release its citizens while convening a National Security Council meeting. Kwan Chang-ho updates us on the drastically escalating diplomatic row. In an extraordinary diplomatic tit-for-tat, the Malaysian government has banned all North Korean citizens from leaving the country. This came directly in response to the ban announced by North Korea earlier on Tuesday morning, declaring all Malaysians were prohibited from leaving until the incident that happened in Malaysia was properly resolved. That incident is a reference to the death of a North Korean man last month, widely acknowledged to be Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of the regime's leader. The subsequent police investigation has led to a deterioration in a previously close diplomatic relationship with ambassadors from both Malaysia and North Korea recently expelled. The Malaysian Prime Minister issued a statement calling North Korea's ban abhorrent and said Malaysia's own ban will be in place until the safety and security of its nationals was assured. An emergency meeting of the National Security Council was also announced. We didn't plan to respond in turn, but this is what we need to do when they do this out of the norms of diplomatic relations. It's believed there are 11 Malaysian nationals in North Korea, including three embassy staff, six family members, and two working for the UN World Food Programme. They are reported to be safe and have been advised to continue their work as normal. In Kuala Lumpur, it's unclear how many are in the North Korean embassy. In the ongoing investigation into Kim's murder, the Malaysian police are looking to question at least three North Korean men who are believed to be hiding in the embassy. The chief of police said a formal request to hand over one of the suspects has been sent, but the embassy has refused to cooperate. We have compelled him to come through section 111 of the CPC, the Criminal Procedure Code of Malaysia, and uh, failing which we will obtain an arrest warrant. And uh, we, uh, we will wait. We will wait. If it takes five years, we will wait outside. The police chief also confirmed that so far no family member has come forward to claim the victim's body and verify his identity through a DNA test. He said they were confident they would get a DNA sample soon, but he did not elaborate how. Kwan Zhao, Arirang News.